Hi, I'm Danny Ecker with your Chicago Business Today Midday Report. Chicago Bulls TV analyst Stacy King is spinning his catchphrases into a retail effort. King has copyrighted sayings including too big, too strong, referring to star guard Derrick Rose and Windy City Assassin, among others, and he's putting them on t-shirts. King tells Cranes he's sold about 38,000 shirts over the last two months with plans for more. He said he got the idea from current Miami Heat president Pat Riley, who trademarked three-peat in Los Angeles in the 1980s. Groupon, meanwhile, is too misleading across the pond, according to British authorities who challenged the way the company promotes its deals, and now the Daily Deal giant is making changes. The UK's Office of Fair Trading said the company needed to make its offers more clear to consumers. The probe was made public back in December in the UK when its watchdog Advertising Standards Authority highlighted complaints over exaggeration of savings claims. Meantime, back on the Groupon home front, the company has snagged a top exec from online gaming giant Zynga. Curtis Lee, who served as Director of Product Management for the company, will join Groupon as its VP of Consumer Products. It's the latest move in Groupon's effort to grow beyond the daily deal business. The company broke into the consumer products market with Groupon Goods, which sells computers, clothing, and even travel deals. And the University of Illinois Endowment had the best performance of any major school in the state over the past three years. It grew 4% since 2008 to $1.6 billion in fiscal 2011. That's good for 10th place out of 71 universities ranked by Bloomberg. The growth has been largely thanks to the recent Brilliant Futures Capital campaign, which finished in September after reeling in $2.25 billion. Northwestern and University of Chicago, meanwhile, have far larger endowments, but each grew less than 0.7% over the last three years. And that's what's happening in Chicago Business Today. For breaking business headlines, stick with ChicagoBusiness.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday.